Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am creating this glam, glowy look. I don't know how to call it. <laughs> Using some new products and the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 5. I asked you the question on my Insta stories, asking you which palette you wanted me to use in my next video amongst my Pat McGrath Labs collection. Many of you voted for this one. Many of you voted for other palettes too, so lots of different options here. So I will probably do more videos where I get ready with new products or just shopping my stash using those other palettes, so don't worry. And uh, otherwise, what is new? I am using the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. I am using Wayne Goss Sleep Products here. A Pixi Vitamin C Blush. So we're gonna see what it is about. And some other products. So if you wanna see how I created this look and see how everything applies, please keep on watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can also follow me on Instagram. And uh, don't forget to ring the little bell right here next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. If you love Pat McGrath Labs, I have tons of videos with multiple looks for her palettes. So just go on my main page and uh, check my videos and you'll see many options here. Uh, you'll see some options at the end of the video too. You just will have to click on the icon. But uh, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, to prep my skin, I'm going to use something new today it's from the brand Ilia, and that's the Super Serum Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen. It's supposed to be hydrating, uh, have a natural protection. I couldn't find it on Sephora's website, at least during the sales. I got it on Beautylish. They have different shades, so it's a bit tricky to pick one, but I picked the shade ST11. Matura. So we'll see. Hopefully that's the right shade. And uh, they say to shake well before use. Dispense half a dropper into palms of hands and apply like a serum. I think they say half a dropper because, well, if you if you want SPF 40, you have to have like a certain amount of product onto your face. And hopefully the color is okay. I really like the packaging. I think it, it looks really nice. Very simple, but very nice. So it is pretty liquidy. Ooh, it looks like it has nice coverage. Let's apply half a palm, they say. It has some imperfections here too, so let's see how it covers. Okay, I'm gonna do one side first and zoom you in. I'll uh, try to remember to put in the description box some of the shades I'm wearing right now to help you. Wow, that looks beautiful. It's not full coverage, but you can build in. But look at that. It really got rid of the redness. It looks beautiful. For those who are new, I have hyperpigmentation there, there. A little bit of freckles during summertime. And I have dry to normal skin. That's very pretty. It looks like skin. Looks like the perfect amount of coverage for me. Just gonna add a tiny bit more for my forehead. It's actually the perfect shade. And I ended up also ordering during the sales the foundation, the serum foundation. I heard great reviews about it and uh, my skin right now is looking really dry. Probably because of pregnancy, but so I wanted something quite hydrating. I'm really excited, guys. I think it looks great. So that is the skin tint, and I find that for a skin tint, it has a beautiful coverage. I'm gonna put a little bit of my Tarte CC uh, under eye corrector. Uh, then the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer in the shade 4.5. I'm looking a bit more tan right now. That skin tint. Put a little bit on my hyper hyperpigmentation right here. To set, well, let's use the Pat McGrath Labs 
uh, Skin Fetisha Blind here. Perfection Blurring under Eye Powder in the shade Light. Over here, why not? I love my skin. On days I'm not gonna wear makeup or like very light makeup, the Ilya Skin Tint. We'll see how it wears. I, I'm starting the video a bit late, so I'm not sure I will be able to do like a legit um, check-in for you, but I'll let you know in the description box down below, or I'll let you know in a future video how I like this product. But so far, I am really, really impressed. Really impressed. And I like that they have different shades for SPF 40. For bronzer, well, let's use... A recent one, the Lila B, B Sunkissed, Bronze Beauty. I've been really liking it. Super pretty. Okay, for blush, I got a new one too from Pixie, the Glowy Powder, Radiance Powder. So it's supposed to be a silky vitamin C infused radiance powder, adds a touch of glow, and brightens complexion. This natural mineral powder contains antioxidants to help energize while creating a natural luminous finish. I like the clear packaging. This one is in the shade Peach Dew. Let's try that with a duo fiber brush just because I don't know how pigmented it is. Oh, that's very pretty. Do you see that? It's very luminous. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Buxom Primer infused blushes. Oh, well, that's super pretty. You almost don't need highlighter with that. For highlighter, I have nothing new, so I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi, an oldie but a goodie. It's been a while, and I've been reorganizing my makeup. I'm almost done actually, so we're gonna do lots of Shop My Stash videos because now I can see everything I have and that I need to use before it expires. I'm gonna do quickly my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so the skin so far looks really good. Eyebrows are done. I used my Flower Beauty Draw the Line Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Blonde. Let's get onto the eyes. So I put a little bit of concealer and I set with a Pat McGrath under eye powder um, just to prep the lid. The one who got the most votes was the Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. So that's the one we're going to play with today. I have, I think, two videos for this palette at least. One with five looks and another one where I mixed it with Midnight Sun. So if you haven't watched those, I will link them at the end of this video. You'll see the icons, you just have to click on it. Or I will link one here and maybe another one later. I really love that palette. It's probably one of my favorites. It's so beautiful. I really love these shades. In particular, I think they're so transformative and they really turn and look into a, a Pat McGrath Labs look, you know. And then you have very nice, like, tones here, easy to work with, easy to wear. I'm gonna go with that shade and I'm gonna start all over the lid with it. And that's a Wayne Goss number 16 brush. I'm really excited for the Divine Rose number 2 to come out. I think there are some repeats in it, but overall it looks so pretty. I like to get the pink pink one if I can, because she launched like this packaging or a pink one. It's a little bit fun to get the pink one for my birthday. It's coming out in June, so it'll be a nice birthday present for me. So yeah, I'm just really placing it generously onto my lid. I think it's a beautiful shade too. I'm gonna zoom you in. It's getting dark. I need to really figure out the lighting here. Here, that's better. So I'm really generous and I'm not overly precise with the application. It's a beautiful color to work with. You can wear it by itself. Insisting in the crease. With the same shade, I'm going to go on my lower lash line. And that's a Kiko 60. Blend, blend, blend. Taking a Sony G Crease Pro brush, I'm gonna go to this dark brown here. Really get into the crease here. You can look straight onto your mirror or the camera monitor. 
is going to help to sculpt your eye and intensify the outer V. With what is left on the brush, I'm just going to go on the lower lash line. We may intensify later on, but for now it's going to help by just diffuse a shade. I'm feeling any more concealer here. Something a little bit more brightening. I might do that. Let's do that quickly. I'm going to take my Hourglass Concealer in the shade Setter. Just right here. I'm going to need to be a bit brighter. It's okay, we place powder, but not too much. So it should not be a problem. Oh, it's fine when I do something a bit heavier on the eyes. It's better if I have a brighter concealer. A bit more powder here. All right, back to business. So these three shades are absolutely stunning. I think I want to use this one. So pretty. And this, when you're like with the spots on or you're outside in the sunshine, it's so beautiful. So I'm just going to apply it with my finger. Mostly focus in the center. Yeah, I need to figure out. Oh, I went into the wrong shade. <laughs> I went into this one. Well, you know what? It was meant to be, I guess. So I'm going to place this one to the very center of the lid. And it's so pretty, so it's fine. It's okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I really need to figure out my lights because I just moved to my bedroom, but it's not as good, so I need to do something about it. Well, I can always show you facing uh, daylight after at the end of the video, but this shade is absolutely stunning. I'll show you with my flashlight for now. Put it in the center. This is what makes those Pat McGrath Labs Mothership palettes worth it, you know? She could make an entire palette just with these and uh, I'll be happy. Okay, let's zoom out. Look from far, it's beautiful because it's kind of a soft but so intense at the same time it's it's gorgeous okay I'm just gonna go back to the first shade in the crease again we'll go higher close to the eyebrow And I'm going to intensify the lower lash line with this shade. In the inner corner, I'm going to go with this shade. And I'm going to bring it a tiny bit here in the inner third. All right, and I think I'm going to leave it like that. It's pretty quick, pretty simple. Uh, but I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in the shade Barbarella Brown. It's a beautiful chocolate brown. Really like it. Slight line with it a tiny bit. All right, I'm gonna put on some mascara and I'll be right back. Before that, I'm just gonna use a little bit of a Fix Plus Gold Lit from MAC. I'm trying to use up my uh, setting sprays. I have, I have tons. This one gives you a nice golden finish. So we look even more glowy. All right, eyes are done and I love it. It's so pretty. I used for mascara the Tarte Big Ego. It's not bad. My lashes are weird right now. I think it's during pregnancy. They look shorter. They don't want to curl, but it still did a good job. So there you go. I'm going to put the flashlight again. 
Let's do it. Show you the full impact of these eyeshadows. So pretty. So pretty. So for the lips, I have two Wingoss products. I got the High Shine Gloss in the shade Antique Rose and a lip liner in the shade Natural Berry. Congrats to Wayne Goss, I think it was a really good launch. So this is how the lip pencil looks like. Really nice and simple. Pretty color. Let's do that quickly. Let's line the lips and maybe fill them. Oh, it feels very nice. Let's fill the lips with. I didn't have any lip balm, nothing. And it's kind of my lips, but better for the color. Very pretty. Very pretty. I could actually leave it like that, but I want to show you the lip gloss. But this shade is perfect for like a everyday natural lip. And it doesn't feel too dry on the lips too, which is nice. Let's take a look at the gloss. So I got the shade Antique Rose, which is a sparkly shade. I really like that it looks like a little nail polish. Very cute. And that's Antique Rose, which looks super metallic like that when you look at it like that. But I, I to be honest, I swatched it already. I used it already and it's really pretty. And I like the minty smell. It's very subtle minty. Like well, it, it, it smells like mint. If you don't like mint, I don't. I don't know if you're gonna love that. But it's it's not too strong like the Bobbi Brown lip gloss. I remember was quite strong. But here, I'm gonna do a little swatch here. Here, see, it's not too metallic. Actually, it's quite sheer with a lot of shine. And the applicator feels very nice. It applies evenly. I think it's very pretty. All right, and that is the finished look. I really like it. I think it's super pretty. I will take you uh, somewhere a bit brighter maybe just to see with uh, the daylight how it looks like, but I really like it. My biggest surprise was the Ilya Super Serum Skin Tint. I was not expecting to be able to wear a full glam makeup with a skin tint and it's beautiful. I will have to test it out in the sun to tell you like uh, if it works well, if it protects my skin really well and how it wears. I'll wear that more often and I will leave you a little comment in the, the comment section down below just to let you know how it goes or maybe who knows it might be in a favorites video. Who knows? We'll see hopefully because so far it is very promising. I think the skin looks beautiful. I'm going to zoom you in in a minute to show you details of the look, but this is gorgeous. I am so, so happy. Great surprise. Great surprise. And I picked the right shade too. So that's great. Um, what else was new? The blush from Pixie, glowy powder in the shade Peach Dew infused with vitamin C. I think it's really pretty and it really reminds me of uh, the Buxom primer infused blushes, which are like some of my favorites. You get 11.3 grams, so you get quite a bit of products here. Uh, I don't recall the price I paid for it, so I will try to find it and put it here for you guys, but Super nice, I found it at Shoppers, the Wingoss lip products. I am super happy I picked the shade Natural Berry. It is the perfect shade for a natural lip look for me. Like I could wear that on its own, I think, with a little bit of lip balm and call it a day. Um, super nice formula. It's uh, It feels first a little bit dry when you swatch it on the arm, but then it glides on very nicely onto the lips. So it's very easy to fill your lips with it as well. And the gloss, I love it because it's not metallic. It's super shiny. It has a little bit of sparkles, of course, but it, it doesn't feel greedy at all. It all, almost feels like a, a lip oil, slightly more goopy than a lip oil, like more sticky, but 
very nice not too sticky but you you end up you know with a matrix uh, mouth uh, very nice I like the packaging I think he did a great job I'll try to pick up more shades in the future because I really wanted to try I think it was tulip I wanted to try or it was like a kind of a pink shade so I'll try to pick up more shades in the future if there is a sale or something like that the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 5 is one of my favorites it's beautiful i think you can create beautiful looks with it and uh and those shades that you put on top oh it's just stunning let's take you to face the sun so you see the eyes the skin everything you can see the texture of my skin maybe a bit better the blush is really pretty really luminous i really like the color of it that's a gloss. So I think the skin tint really helped also with the texture because I've been breaking out pretty bad here on my chin. And it's doing a good job. The eyes. I think the combination of the lip liner and the gloss, it looks beautiful. I love how the skin looks like. I think it looks so, so natural, glowy. And if on top of that, if it has SPF 40, I'm super impressed. Uh, once again, I will let you know in the future how it goes, how I like the product. But so far, I am I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. I, 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 I did not expect that amount of coverage and uh, for something that looks so natural. So I'm super happy with everything I put on today. And uh, let me know down below if you have these products or what you think of those products. But that's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, ring the bell. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great long weekend and I will see you very soon.